it's Addison's videos and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own watercolor at home. Now you can't put this watercolor in like like a baggie or something so you can use it whenever but you actually you need any kind of regular markers like Crayola or Crazy Art just something that'll work but not like in nice you know markers something like Crazy Art or Crayola. Or this type. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but, yeah. So I'm going to show you how you can make your own watercolor at home. Let me, let me adjust this. Alright. So I'm going to draw a flower. Actually, maybe not. I'll draw... What should I draw, you guys? I'll just draw a simple dot. I'll draw a blue dot. Hopefully this works. I don't think any of these markers actually work. So, um, yeah, that doesn't work. Use the bottom part. All right. Let's try to find one that'll actually work. Hopefully this one will. Doesn't work either. <laughs> That doesn't work, and that doesn't work. Alright, sorry that I don't have very good, um, oh, here's one. Here's a good one. Alright, and then you're going to take a paintbrush and get it wet. Make sure it's not too wet. And then go over it. It doesn't really work too well, because it's got to go kind of fast. You just got to get it pretty wet. So I'll be right back. This water actually has paint in it. That's kind of why it's not working. Because um, I have to dry it off so I don't get paint on paper. So I'll be right back. Alright, um, let's try this again, shall we? We're going to do another circle because it's just, yeah. Alright, quickly, quickly, whiffly, sniffly. Kind of doesn't work. Maybe the markers just too dried out. I think it just needs to be more inky. I think actually what you can also do, get the marker a little wet, and then it can also make watercolor a little bit, and then quickly, roughly sniffly, maybe. It kind of works. I don't know. It's a little hard, but. As you can see, it definitely got wet. Ooh, I think I did it. So, the watercolor doesn't show up that well, but I mean it should. It definitely shows up. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's try with another piece and a, and a different color. Actually, here. Since we know how to do it now, let's try this again. All right. Make a big old circle. So I'm just trying to go fast. Here, we'll, we'll make it a little bit better. There we go. Alright. And paint over it. And then you can use that to paint. It's beautiful. So I think you can actually do this and it works a little bit better, maybe. So smiley face. I know you can't really see it, but I do smiley face here. There. You can see a little bit better. Okay. I'm running out of paint anymore. It kind of looks like a very light pink, but I mean, it's not going to fully work, is it? Huh. Alright, and then... Alright, and you guys can try this at home, too. So, I'll tell you the steps. First, you need some good, regular water, nothing on it. You can use some regular water, nothing in it, it's just water. And then, you need a paintbrush. So, you need water, paintbrush, and some Crayola markers. Or a Crazy Art, or whatever you want to use. Maybe with the... 
markers. Don't worry about the bad markers. Okay, it's fine. Um, let's see if this orange works. It does, it does, it does. Yes. There. Right? Put it in. And color over it. Or paint over it. With your water. So, and then... It might be a lighter version of the actual color you want. And probably don't use regular paper, actually. Um, like... Use, like, thickish paper. So this isn't really working, as you can see. It's not, not really working. Um, so, don't, probably don't use this. Or, I guess what you could do. Let me find one of the markers that don't work. I guess what you could do is put your marker in the water and just, like, mix it around until the water is that color. And then... I don't know, I've never tried this, I'm just trying new things. And then I, maybe you could use it. It just a little bit works, not much, but it, it, it kind of works. Ooh, it looks like slime. Okay, let's try with green. Oh, that actually works perfectly, yay. We don't need that. And, boom, 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 boom. You just kind of paint over it. Here. So you, and you just paint over it. And then, you can use that to paint all you want. So you probably need more than just one paper. Maybe three papers if you're going to do multiple. So the first paper you need to have this or that or that. First paper, you need to uh, make that. But yeah. Or another way, I think maybe you could take one of your markers, slightly get it wet, and then color, 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 color. Uh, yeah, that works really good. That's really good, yeah. So you can also do that. It works a lot better. Just slightly get it wet, and then. Just I slightly get it wet and then look how cool that looks. And it looks like watercolor still. It still kind of looks like watercolor. And you just, it just really looks cool because it still looks like watercolor. But you're using this. So that's another way you could do it. So you could do it where you slightly dip it in. You could try putting one of your markers in the water fully and just mixing it around until the water turns that color and that won't really work, but I mean, you could try. Um, maybe if you put enough ink in there. I don't know, I didn't really try too hard. Um, or do this where you just put the, um, you just put the color, and then you use your paintbrush, get it watery, and just paint over it, and then um, use that. It's kind of like your paint mallet. It, for this one, this is kind of your paint mallet. This is your color that you're using. It's kind of like paint, but it kind of really doesn't show that it runs out. It doesn't look like it runs out, but it does. So, yeah. So, remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and do all that stuff. Bye! Wait, remember to use these tricks when you're painting next time. Bye!